friends, my name is Gauri and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel Gauri's 3 C's. In case you're wondering what the 3 C's in my channel name represent, they stand for my 3 interests outside of work. Cooking, cleaning and organizing and of course crafting. Join me in my journey of cooking attempts, cleaning and organizing and endeavors and crafting stress busters. If that's the kind of content that's right up your alley, Please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload a new video. Welcome aboard! Medu Vada and Tiffin Sambar. The combination is a classic South Indian favorite that brings into one dish a stark contrast between the exterior crunch of the deep fried lentil donuts and the soft interior that has soaked up all the tanginess of the steaming hot sambar into its pores. Typically served as a breakfast item, several popular chain restaurants in India see these vada sambar combinations selling like hot cakes on busy weekday mornings. You eat these vadas with sambar on top of the vada or on the side, the choice clearly seems to be one that many people don't want to budge from, having made it once, at least in my personal experience. Let's get on with making medu vada and tiffin sambar. Urad dal without its skin is what you need to make these. I have one and a half cups of urad dal, which should give me about 24 vadas, I hope, that I've washed thoroughly and soaked with a green chili for two hours. After the first hour of soaking, I usually drain the water completely and allow it to sit in the absorbed water for the next hour. This way the dal has not taken in too much water and that keeps the vadas from becoming too oily. Add the pieces of ginger and grind in a wet grinder, processor, food processor, mixy or blender. Blender clearly should be your last resort um, since the key to grinding this vada batter is absolute bare minimum water just to keep the motor from getting hot and with a blender you typically need more water. I used three tablespoons of ice cold water to grind this batter. Uh, add in some chopped fine onions uh, and uh, curry leaves to this batter and mix it well. To get this get started with the sambar on the side which can cook in my instant pot while I deep fry the vadas, I chopped up some onions and tomatoes, half of these that I'll use in the ground mixture and the rest of the veggies for the sambar. Typically shallots are used but I don't have any on hand. I have a cup of moong dal or yellow split dal that has been soaking for half an, half an hour and a small lemon sized tamarind soaking in hot water uh, which I'll take an extract of. In addition, I'll be using some coconut and jaggery and a tablespoon of chutney dal or dalia when I grind the paste to go into my sambar. Let's get the instant pot started on saute mode and heat up a tablespoon of oil. Allow mustard seeds to crackle, add in the onions and tomatoes and let them saute for an additional three minutes. Now bring in the pureed mixture, moong dal, water or vegetable broth. I have this broth from my pav bhaji soup. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to that. One heaped teaspoon of sambar powder and cover and cook, pressure cook for 12 minutes. Back to the vadas. I uh, just put enough oil in the deep pan or on medium heat and then come back to the vada, vada batter. Add some salt and mix it well with your hands. Check if the oil is um, ready by dropping a small amount of batter. If, the, if it immediately comes up to the surface, then you know you can get started. Now to see how I shape my vada. Take a flat spatula and wet it with some water. Place a small amount of batter on the spatula and smooth the top. Make a hole in the center. Flip the spatula as you drop it in the oil. This is a neat trick as long as you um, keep cleaning the spatula after a few vadas, the vada should easily slip out and still retain its shape. Keep practicing it. It will work out. Only after the vadas have cooked on one side for some time, flip it over. Trying to meddle with that before 
can cause the vadas to break down and you don't want that. Depending on the size of the pan and the size of the vadas, you may be able to get three or four in a batch. Definitely don't overcrowd the pan. Meanwhile, meanwhile the sambar should have cooked down uh, and the safety valve should drop in some time. Open the lid and there's the steaming hot sambar to serve with your crunchy medu vadas. For several years since I started cooking, I stayed wary of attempting medu vadas at home. It was always unnerving for me to pick medu vadas as something to make. I would worry about the water content. I would worry about not being able to shape the vadas. I would convince myself that my mom and mom-in-law who had several years of experience with cooking could make them at home, but I would never be able to do that. To think of it now, those all seem like excuses that came from the fear of failing. I have failed a few times in these attempts to now finally have gotten to a point of consistent success. Don't you think that's a philosophy that can be applied to everything we do in life? I sure do. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one.